welcome or welcome back to Made by Amanda Mao. I'm Amanda and I make stuff. For those of you who don't know me, I am a crochet artist. I mostly focus on making amigurumi plushie type items uh, to sell at market events and online. Easter is less than a month away and I have already been working really hard on my Easter collection. I already had a spring market this month where I brought some of these items. So this video is going to be me showing you all of the things that I'm making for Easter as well as some patterns that I would love to make but haven't gotten around to it yet. So just some cute suggestions for you guys. Any patterns that you see in this video will be linked below in a Google Sheet in the description. I think a lot of these items are great for market prepping and I think like Easter items are like you'll see when I show you some of the stuff I've been making they're things that aren't specifically Easter like you could sell them whenever so I could definitely see these things being things that I bring to some markets in the future as well. So all that being said, we are gonna jump into things. Uh, first, I'm gonna show you, like I said, all the stuff that I've been making in my Easter collection so far. So these are patterns I've already made, starting with this peep. I have been obsessed with making peeps lately. This one is my big peep pattern. I've been making them in two sizes. So this one is a little bit bigger. Um, I got this pattern on Etsy and then I have also been making smaller peeps and the smaller peeps are a free Instagram pattern that'll be linked below and I will also show you a size comparison here. These ones definitely take a little longer to work up. I sell these at a little bit higher of a price point than my smaller peeps. I actually don't have any of my smaller peeps on hand right now because I sold out of them. Um, but I kind of like the way that this pattern looks a little bit better than the smaller one. However, I think that they're both adorable and perfect Easter items. You can make them in a ton of different colors and make them in a bunch of cute, fun, bright Easter colors and they're just cute. Next we have my tried and true little duckies. These are so cute. These are not an Easter specific item for me. I do bring them to most of my markets, but I think that they make adorable Easter items. Like I could definitely see people putting these in Easter baskets because duckies are an Easter thing, right? That's Easter. So I think that they are really cute, especially these little yellow ones. I love these ones. Um, these are from my signature chubby birdie bundle that I always used. So that pattern will be linked below. This is also not an Easter specific item, but if you guys watch some of my other videos, you'll know that I did not fall in love with making turtles until my Easter turtle collection. Like look at this little Easter turtle. I've been, I got some sweet snuggles light in the like floral patterns and it's adorable. I made them with this pattern. I had a different, um, pattern. I will try to find a picture of it to put in here for you. But um, I just think that the floral patterns are really adorable for Easter. Like these are such cute Easter colors and just spring colors in general. I'll definitely be making more of these. And like something about just having like fun yarns to make turtles with just like makes me love making turtles. So this is one of my many um, Easter turtles. These did really well for me at my last spring market this month. Um, it was actually the the one of these with the other floral pattern was actually the first thing I sold before the market even started. So um, I think that these are really cute market make and just cute in general. Next is my little sheepy girl. I love these little sheeps. They are so cute. They're full of bobble stitches. Um, this pattern does involve a little bit of sewing, but not too bad. Um, it works up like decently quick. I mean, it is just a bunch of bobbles and I think you sew on, you sewed, I sewed on like the head, her ears, her little leggies. Um, but yeah, it wasn't too bad and it is just such an adorable little Eastern, Easter pattern. And honestly, it doesn't even have to be Easter. Like I think, I mean, I would buy this whenever. I think she's just adorable. And I could see this being in Easter baskets as well for like little kids and stuff. Um, super cute. Next has been one of my favorite Easter patterns that I've made. Um, and it is these bunnies with hats. These are low sew bunnies with hats. This is a pattern by AQ Crochets. 
um, and I love it because there's so many different kinds of like bunnies you can make in the pattern. I'm going to show you all of the ones that I made because I'm obsessed with them all. But um, there's a bunch of different hats that you can make. There's a bunch of different ear styles you can make. Um, it's low sew being that like the body is pretty much, the body's no sew. And then I think I just really sewed on the ears and I ended up sewing on the hats, but they can be removable. You don't have to sew them on. I just chose to do that, but this is the first one I have. This is the other floral pattern. I was telling you guys about that other Sweet Snuggles light floral pattern. Um, so that's my little pink girl. And then I have this one with a strawberry hat and she has a different kind of ear. She has like a thicker, fluffier um, ear from the pattern and she has a strawberry hat, which is just super adorable. I love her. And then I made another one with the floral yarn, a little hat with this cute Sweet Snuggles light floral yarn. I think she's really cute too. And then I made a plain bunny with these like thicker dual colored ears. I honestly love this one. I think these might have been my favorite like ear. These ears came out super cute and I love this pattern. I think that these bunnies are just adorable and this is just a perfect Easter item for anyone really. So that is pretty much it for my Easter collection thus far of things that I specifically made. I am in my peak market prep, so I was definitely busy getting some other inventory items done, but now I'm gonna move on to the part of the video where I show you guys some other patterns that I really would love to make. And some of these are free patterns, guys. You're gonna love them. Starting with this free jelly bean bunny pattern on Instagram. This is by Darling Maple Designs on Instagram. I think these bunnies are adorable and I also think it would be a pretty quick make. So I would definitely love to add some of these to my inventory and in all these adorable colors. I just think they're amazing. Next is this farmer bunny pattern from Mom Stichetti. This was actually my goal pattern to make for Easter. When I saw it, I just fell in love with it. Those adorable overalls, the little carrots, like this is just the cutest bunny I've ever seen and I definitely want to get around to making one of these. Next is another furry Instagram pattern and this is the Daisy Doll by Blue Bina on Instagram. It is the cutest thing and I think it's not only an amazing like Easter item but I think it's just an adorable thing to make for the spring and the nice weather. I think this would do really well at markets and hello it's a free pattern so I cannot wait to make some of these. Next is this adorable duck and bunny pattern from Crochet Grove. I absolutely love Crochet Grove's patterns. They're really easy to follow and there's no so options for this pattern and it also comes with this adorable little floaty pattern. I think these are the cutest Easter makes and she also has just a bunny bundle pattern pack which is bunnies with these cute little easter eggs i think those are adorable as well if i saw one of those in my easter basket i would simply just cry happy tears obviously next is another free instagram pattern this is a no so marshmallow bunny pattern it is so cute by stitched creations on instagram i think these are so cute they probably work up super fast and would definitely make for a great item to just grab off of your table at a market event and next, if you're looking for a cute sheep pattern that might work up a little quicker than that bobble stitch sheep I had showed you previously in the video, I also love this little sheep pattern that I found on Etsy. I just love their little faces and it seems like a pretty tiny item, so I'm sure it will work up pretty quick. Next are these adorable plushy eggs that I saw on Etsy by Crocheting by Nicole. I think that these are perfect Easter basket stuffer. They are adorable. You can make them in any kinds of colors you want. I think it is such an adorable and fun Easter item for sure. I think little kids would love them. I think you could even add little faces to them. And I mean, any combo you could think of, I think it would be adorable. And last but not least, a pattern I would love to make, and I think you should be making too, are these bunny snugglers by the Cozy Stitch on Etsy. Snugglers are in right now, guys. And if you don't know what snugglers are, they are basically plushies that are just not stuffed in the, in the middle. They're like kind of floppy and snuggly. And they seem to be pretty popular right now. Every pattern that I see is just cuter than the next. I have not made any yet, but I cannot wait to start. And I would love to start with this pattern. I think that it is adorable and would be an amazing Easter gift and amazing Easter item. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope that you found this video helpful and you found some patterns that you would love to get started on. Let me know what you guys are working on for Easter or what you have coming up for your spring markets. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe so you don't miss any videos coming up in the future. And thank you so much for watching this video if you did, and I will see you in the next next one.
Bye.